G'day trendsetters, this is Todd, my mate here. We're continuing with part two of the Bamboo Bicycle Club gravel lugged frame build kit, bamboo frame kit, aluminium lugs, gluing the whole lot together. We're gonna kick off today with whittling and the dry fit process over to Todd. All right, folks, welcome back to the next part of our bamboo lugged bike build. Uh, today we're going to cover the uh, tube preparation process as well as dry fitting the entire frame together. If you watched the last video, you know that first thing you do is you measure according to your pattern, your frame pattern here in the manual and it's there on the inside as well. You mark it with painter's tape, you build up that area with, with uh, electrical tape. So here, this is not a tube from the Bamboo Bicycle Club uh, kit. It's from my own backyard, um, but just as a mock-up, we're gonna do that today. So you can see I've already got my blue paint, painter's tape and my electrical tape on there. So step one, uh, once you've determined that distance and made all that happen, is to score all the way around. Um, I would recommend doing this a uh, couple times around. You may have to do it again, depending on how much material you have to remove in this process. You do want these to fit snug into the lugs, but not overly snug. You do need a little bit of space in there for some epoxy. Otherwise, it's not gonna bond between the bamboo and the aluminum lug. So make sure that they fit snug, but not overly tight. You shouldn't have to push hard to insert these into the lugs. So that being said, you do not wanna to remove too much material. Um, so my recommendation is to start and move and just do a slight layer all the way around. Uh, so we'll start with that here. We've got a nice sharp uh, X-Acto knife and we're just gonna remove pieces just like that. A little bit at a time and we'll go all the way around. Now you'll also notice, as I mentioned last time, you know, of course bamboo is a natural product so these tubes may not be perfectly circular. So in the end, once you've done this all the way around and see how it's fitting, you may have to actually remove more material on one particular part of the tube to get it to fit into the lug. Uh, so yeah, I'm just working my way around here. I usually make one pass all the way around and then I'll go back and take down some of these little ridges that have been left between the slices. Not really removing much more material, but making it a little bit smoother all the way around. So once you've done that and you've gotten it close, you can see this is how much material I generated from all the tubes for this frame project. Uh, your ma mileage may vary uh, because some tubes fit snugger than others depending on uh, what you get in your kit. So again, I'm using a piece of bamboo from my own backyard for this demonstration. The next step after you've gotten it reasonably close um, is you probably wanna take a, a rough file or a rasp um, and smooth this out even more. Uh, this is my grandfather, so this is a 100-year-old tool I'm using for this project. And we're just gonna work that around just to kind of get some of those fluted areas from the, from the whittling worked down a little bit more smoothly. And again, this will depend on how much, how cleanly you've done it with the, with the Stanley knife as to how much filing you're gonna need to do here. Uh, but you definitely wanna knock down anything that's, a, that's raised ridges if possible. So the other thing we want to do is then you want to take a, a finer file and what I did was to work around this scoring line all the way around a few times with the finer file not to really cut into the bamboo but just to make sure that this ridge that you're leaving here at the end of the shave part is actually even all the way around because that's going to actually, you want that to butt flush up against the lug. So you want that to be as, as even as possible and not have any um, little undulations from where your knife cut might have started. The scoring should help with that, but a couple times around with a file like that just works that joint and makes it a little bit nicer. Then the last step with pre preparing the, uh, the end of each tube is to do a little bit of sanding. The manual does recommend, uh, if you really need to do a lot of sanding, is to use a cloth-based uh, sandpaper. Um, but if you're getting it really close, you shouldn't really need that. It does make it, the job a little bit easier, but you can just see that by this point, all you're really doing is you know, taking down the last little bit. You're not really removing much material here. You're just making it smooth and a nice clean surface uh, and presumably opening up that 
uh, surface a little bit for epoxy to bond better to and taking any remaining shine off of that. Uh, so that's something you'll get pretty close to that. This is obviously a quick demonstration. I think on a, the ones I did for the actual build kit, uh, they look a little smoother than this. All right, so we've got all of our tube ends prepped. Um, we've got our tubes marked with front and rear, top and bottom, etc. cetera. Uh, and we're gonna see how this all comes together in a dry fit. Obviously, of course you wanna do that. Before you even get it into the jig, I think you wanna check all your joints and things like that. We'll work on the jig next video. All right, so we're starting here at the front. Uh, we'll start with the front of the triangle, like that. Seat cluster here. This there. And then this is always a little bit fiddly. Need enough play in the joints to get this together. But it does work. Like so. Get all that back together, sort of fit. Uh, and then we can look at our rear triangle which I've already sort of dry fit here. Got our chain stay and our seat stay. Like so, and then the drive side. Voila. So it's still pretty fiddly because there's nothing holding these joints together. Um, but you can do this and test whether you get the proper insertion, um, that everything fits that you, that you want. So there's significant play here. Um, all that play will, of course, come out when it's in the jig. And fortunately, I think here we're talking about parts of a millimeter. We're not talking about microns. Um, if we were dealing with microns, we probably wouldn't be building with bamboo. All right, so that's it for part two. Next time we'll be back and we'll be doing the preparation of the jig and mounting the dry fit frame into the jig uh, in preparation for gluing and final assembly. Folks, in a future installment, I'll be showing the components that are going to be slapped onto this build. Wheels, cockpit parts, drivetrain, etc. So you've got that to look forward to as well. We'll see you in the next installment of the Bamboo Bicycle Club. Gravel bike project build. See you later on.